tonight. Rich Morgan and late night. We appreciate that, man. Great to have you with us. I, I said to Joe and Troy, it's crazy that the level you guys play at, you might not be the unbeatable force of nature you used to be when you drop 40 on people and no but nobody beats you explain at least not yet at least not yet we're working on it we're working on it choose kingdom to stick with us on offense baby we're gonna keep putting up touchdowns man it's fun though but th that that last drive i mean give tampa credit they had the tie and they should but when you get the ball there's just inevitability to it explain the confidence that you guys are working with it when this game's done we're gonna have more than the other guys. well it's a culture in kc man it's a culture it starts with andy reed it goes to Spags, it goes to the offensive and defensive leaders that have been in this building winning championships. And from there, you just believe in each other. you got the faith, and then you add a few guys like uh, like Kareem Hunt and D-Hop, you know, swag champs, and all of a sudden, this thing is rolling, baby, right now. You and I were talking in, uh, as we were waiting to come on the air here, about, about New Hopkins, and this is a guy who's played at an incredibly high level during his career. And the, the conversation we had on Countdown before the game is, he doesn't need to be the 23-year-old version of, of, of uh, New Collins. Who he could be right now could be a difference maker. We saw that tonight. What has he shown just in a couple of games of what he can be for the Chiefs? I mean, it's a, I said it already, he's a swag champ, and that just brings up, that just juices everybody, and it gives everybody confidence. It gives everybody the, the ability to just play free and, and trust the guys next to him. And, uh, you know, I, I was feeling like the old head for a while. Yep. You know, but D Hop being 2015 <laughs> draft class as well, um, we've been able to relate to each other in that regard. And on top of that, it gives Pat somebody he can trust. You know, that's right, baby. Hop is in the building. The, the touchdown on the on the uh, goal line, is that something that Patrick checked to at the line? It looked like it. My guy Stan Brissy was in it. You talked to him, ask him. It looked like something at the line of scrimmage. They just, it, it looked like a check. No, it was it was all a part of the play. I think Pat might have been calling out uh, the, where the offensive line was going to in terms of the okay. position and stuff. Um, but on top of that, I mean, it looked like they were just on the same page, right? Uh -huh. and, uh, and, and D Hop has been right on time every single time. And, uh, and right now, Pat is playing out of his mind right now. Uh, and Coach Reed's dialing those things up. You guys don't lose football games. In this league where you could slip up weekly, we see it happen to really good teams a lot. It happens on a weekly basis. Drive it doesn't happen to you guys. What What is it that's, that, that describes and explains the ability for a team who could get fat and happy to stay focused and hungry week in, week out? Yeah, I, I'm talking, speaking what you just said, I almost handed it away today a few times, and I'm lucky that my guys were right there for me. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, you know, it's just, it, like I said, it's a culture, man. It's a culture that's set from the, from the big man down, and um, everybody just believes at all times that we're going to get it done. Because we've done it in the past, we keep doing it on, on nights like tonight. Uh, I'll tell you what, when Arrowhead is rocking like it was tonight, man, it's hard to win. It's hard to lose in this place. It's true. I, that's another thing we were talking about, man. I'm grateful we get to go all across the country. You see incredible places, and there are a lot of great fan bases. The kingdom is different, man. It's, you hear that, baby? It's different. The it is. kingdom is different, baby. I don't know how you even quantify what it's worth, but as as you walk out here, I know you don't take this for granted. But you, you, like, if this is if you still got runway here, but we're on the back nine of a career. Like nights like tonight, and you look around at this place and you walk out of here winners again. How so special, man. Yeah. It's so special, and even outside of here in the communities when you're doing stuff. Uh, trying to help out the, the communities and be there for like the under underserved in the community. Mm -hmm. Everybody shows up for football games, for, for for events outside of the facility. That's why I love Kansas City and Chiefs Kingdom for who they are because they always show up, baby. Yeah, and the, the the idea that you've won all these games and yet there's still room, right? You haven't reached a ceiling. If what's that? What's the process like from here until? the most important games, and you know that, that ends in New Orleans, right? I know the ultimate goal is that. It, the grind and the goals weekly are what? Um, to just keep get, keep getting better. And I think that's always the mentality. That's, I keep talking about this culture that Coach Reed has, and he demands a challenge every single week. He puts the challenge in front of the entire team, and from there you just find ways to keep getting better. It's like all, all, throughout the year, you just keep going up this staircase of success, and by the end of the year, you're playing your best football, man. 14 and 100, but reports of your demise were greatly exaggerated. I, I mean, there was some little chatter earlier this year, like, what's wrong with Big 8-7? Like, you know, it seems like, you, seems like things are uh, working out okay lately, huh? We're just working, baby. We're That's working, it? man. We're going up that staircase I was just talking to you about, man. And hopefully by the end of this year, man, we're, uh, we're hosting another trophy, man. Right on. Listen, it's it's cool to be here in the kingdom. They, they hung out late to have you stop by. I, I appreciate it.
I appreciate it. Hey, you work late, but not like your girl. She, she works for like three hours, so you, you put in a late night of work, man. So you, you, uh, you did an incredible job tonight. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Good health. SVP and Arrowhead, baby. Appreciate you. There he is, Travis Kelsey. Tying a career high with 14 catches. Her last time at a Chiefs game was on October 7th, when she watched the reigning Super Bowl champions best the New Orleans Saints. Swift's support comes two days after Travis managed to take a quick break from practice to watch her perform in Indianapolis from the VIP tent alongside Andrea, the athlete, 35, was seen smiling and dancing alongside Swift's mom as the star sang So High School, which is thought to be written about him and their relationship. Swift also made her usual lyric change to Karma, singing, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, coming straight home to me, which she frequently does when Kelsey is in attendance. Donna has said it's been surreal getting to know Swift, it's been a ride. That's for sure, Donna told People last November. Sometimes I feel I'm on some kind of a different planet. I'm like, what has my life become? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be looking to bounce back from their recent skid and will have to do so on the road against the Kansas City Chiefs in one of the more difficult stadiums to play in around the league, Arrowhead, the Chiefs have been largely propped up this year due to their defense keeping them in games. The offense has struggled with the likes of Pacheco and Rice out for an extended period but they have found enough ways to pull out victories for them to get to 7-0. The Buccaneers, meanwhile, are dealing with issues of their own as their defense has been atrocious over the past few weeks and will need them to bounce back in a big way to try and pull this one out on the road. The Bucks' offense is still flying high despite the losses of wide receivers Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. They will look to keep things moving on that side of the ball with limited offensive playmakers on the outside, leaning heavily on creativity, the run game, and Baker locating tight end Kate Otten. Follow along with us here at Bucks Game Day as we provide you with up-to-the-minute live game updates of the matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Third and three upcoming after back-to-back -back rushes from Hunt and Carson Steele, Mahomes finds a wide-open Kelsey for a gain of 10 yards and a first down, Mahomes connects with Xavier Worthy deep for a gain of 32 yards. The catch is under review and ultimately deemed incomplete. Second and 10 for the Chiefs, third and eight upcoming after a short completion from Mahomes to DeAndre Hopkins, Mahomes is sacked by Vita Vea for a loss of 10 yards and it will be fourth and 18 for the Chiefs from the Bucks' 41-yard line and they will punt. Mayfield begins the game with a completion to Cade Otten for a gain of 9 yards on first down and then Baker checks it off to Racket White who breaks a couple tackles for a gain of 11 yards and a first down, third and seven upcoming. After a short rush by Irving and incompletion from Mayfield who once again put the ball in harm's way, Mayfield's third down pass is incomplete and the Bucks will be forced to punt. Hardman returns at 33 yards and the Chiefs will have the ball around midfield. Hardman was injured on the play, back-to-back -back completions will give Hopkins 24 yards and a first down, Mahomes scrambles for a gain of 7 yards and a first down. Hardman is questionable to return with a shoulder injury, a double reverse is read easily by Yaya Diaby who tackles Worthy for a loss of 10 yards. Second and 20 for the Chiefs, on third and 16, Mahomes finds Perrine out of the backfield for a gain of 4 and Butker will come on for the field goal attempt, Butker's 40-yard FG is good and the Chiefs have the first lead of the game, leading the Buccaneers 3-0 with just over 2 minutes left in the first quarter. Third and six for the Bucks after a short gain by Bucky Irving, Baker is sacked for a loss on third down but a holding penalty on the defense will give the Bucks five yards and an automatic first down, at the end of the first quarter, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers trail the Kansas City Chiefs 3-0. On third and nine, Baker finds Sterling Shepard for a gain of 13 yards and a first down. First and goal for the Bucks, Racket White stutter steps into the